Hey guys. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to my channel. So awkward up here, I know. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so today we're going to start the three day wear test of a new foundation that I have come across. It is called Laura Geller New York Quench and Tint. Quench and Tint Hydrating Foundation. Ooh, see that? See? I am in the shade light, and I think they only have like six shades. Like, it's not a whole lot. But, um, we're, go we're gonna see what's the hype about it. Yeah, from what I understand, and, I, and it was hard to find anything on this, but from what I understand, is that light goes with really, really light or light to medium. Does that make sense? Like, it's supposed to be able to just, you know, go with the punches and fit everybody. I don't have high hopes for that. But we're going to find out. So, we're going to prime to give it a little bit of a good, a good college try. I know. It's just as awkward for me to make these as it is for y'all to watch these and be like, God, what is wrong with her? I know. I know. But yeah, so this is what we're trying. So I use the milk blur stick to just do like my oily areas. Everywhere else I'm really hydrated. I, get, I use an eye cream and I use a moisturizer and let it soak in. And then I, sometimes I use this tart first step double duty beauty first step prep moisture reset cream but yeah it came in a little um like gift set you get like around christmas time but um it had some setting spray in it and so anyway it has some other stuff in it but anyway i use this sometimes try not to get off on a tangent here okay here we go here we go one more time Sorry, I'm not trying to get sued for suing somebody's song up here. So we're gonna take a little bit on my Elf Beauty sponge that um, I just did a review on not too long ago, like probably two days ago from the time you're watching this. Um, but yeah, so so far it looks like it is light <laughs> coverage really light because I have some redness here and you can see it's still trying to poke through but we're just trying to keep blending maybe by the time I come back through I can do like if maybe it's buildable we're gonna find out <laughs> so how's everybody doing I'm not doing too hot mm -mm. I go through this thing sometimes where I'm just Super, super, like, down on myself. And I'm not feeling myself right here lately. And it's kind of making filming hard. <sighs> because some way, somehow, I know that I'm going to have all you people out there telling me, you don't have to do that. <sighs> I know. I know I don't. But I do. But I care too daggone much about what people think. I really do. And I shouldn't. I really shouldn't. But I do. And um, I just wish I could shut it off. And it's a problem. No, I don't really take medication for it. I used to take medication for it. I did. But then I took medication for some other things. I don't know what interacted with what. But to make a long story short. I ended up feeling like I went crazy for a little bit, and um, it ultimately ended up in my divorce. My first husband. Well, my, first, my only husband I've ever had, but I'm divorced today. But anyway, um, so I try not to take any kind of hormonal medication if I can help it. Because I'm not trying to make that mistake a second time. You know what I mean? So anytime I start feeling a particular way like I do, I just try to deal with it. You know, like people you take, like your grandma always used to say, just deal with it. 
I'm just trying to deal with it. Whew. So anyways, I felt like maybe if I come in here, make some, make me feel pretty. Because, you know, makeup does make me feel pretty sometimes. Most times. But, you know, the beauty about makeup, you can wash it off if you don't like it and start over. So, so far, like, you see this red spot? Like, it's not covered the red spot. I mean, it has a beautiful finish. Don't get me wrong. Like, it, it's really, really pretty laid up on the skin. It's really, like, smooth. And it does kind of even out. Like, if you just wanted a natural kind of look. I ain't mad at it. So let's just see if it's buildable. Let's see if it starts to separate or anything. And I'm going to use my little mirror right here. Try to make sure y'all can see me. So we're going to see if it's buildable. Well, it's not like moving the, the other layer or anything. But I still feel like that it's... Well, it might be getting light to medium, but... I don't believe you could build it up to full or anything like that. Like my nose, you can still see the little two red dots right there. Which most of the time you're going to be able to see that. Like that, if you find a makeup, or if I find a makeup that can cover those two dots, that'll be my new holy grail. I haven't found one yet. Not even the Juvia's place really covers it up. But, um, anyway... So, so far, building it has been okay right here. Like, I still see that red spot, but it's not as prominent. So, I would say this would be a light to medium. But I still love the finish of it. I'm not mad at all about, like, the the, the way it kind of lays on the skin at all. Tip. When you're trying new foundation, blend it to your neck. Blend it to your neck. We don't need you to look like you got a floating head up there. Give me a little bit on the ears. Especially if your hair is up. First thing that people kind of will notice is. You got a floating head with red ears. Y'all. Seen it? I've been it. I've done it. Mm -hmm. Done it. Alright, so. She's done. She's done and kind of blended up there. Still kind of on my hand. <laughs> Trying to get it all off. Alright. Right, right, right. So what are we going to try today? We're going to try to do some butter baron. I mean, Fenty Butter Setting Spray. Or we... I'm going to get it right. I'm... Are we going to try some Fenty Setting Powder in the shade Butter? Or are we going to do some magic star setting powder i think we're gonna go magic star i'm telling you this stuff right here it blurs it blurs some good stuff i like it i like it a lot but uh, i've got to do my concealer y'all didn't tell me i missed my concealer <laughs> all right so we're gonna do some no we're not gonna do that we're yeah we are we're gonna do this my garnier clearly brighten my little roller ball right up under here. It kind of helps diffuse the situation. I have some severe dark circles, y'all. Severe. And I've had them since like the third grade. Like I got glasses in the second grade. And like when the third, it might have even been in the second grade when I started getting, noticing these dark circles. But y'all like, it's been serious, serious problem. For a hot minute, I got powder on this thing. I got to get it off so I can use my sponge to blend my um my concealer. Get all that powder off. Okay. So I think we're gonna go in with. Let's see, we've got Maybelline Age Rewind. I'm almost out of that. Woo. Let's see if we got any left in there. Got a little bit. If I get some more of that. Try to get some more of that. Alright, so now. Try to blend that in. Blend. Try to cover the makeup that I, could, I didn't get off last night. Because I was a lazy bitch. 
I didn't take the time to really cleanse my face like I should have. Y'all, my son, he goes to bed like a champion. Like a champion every night at 7 o'clock. I know some of y'all are probably like, man, how old is he? That's kind of early. Well, I mean, he's only one. But he wakes up at 6.30 every morning. Even if we put him to bed at like 8, 8.30, what, 6.30 in the morning, his internal clock goes ting. But y'all, this weekend, he just knew mama needed a break. He knew mama was feeling in her feelings. He slept till 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock! On Saturday morning. I couldn't believe it. And then Sunday, this morning, he slept until um, 7.15. I was like, whoa, you go ahead on, baby. Thank you. But yeah, he did that for mommy. I was so happy for him. Me, proud of him. Just thankful, too, at the same time. Woo, put that up there. Woo. So how many of y'all have kids? I'm sure most of you probably do, which is great. I love to compare mom stories. Ooh, do your kids go to daycare or are they, are you, you stay at home moms? Well, ain't nothing wrong with a stay at home mom. I tried to do it. Woo, I couldn't, I couldn't stay home. I mean, I just, four walls were closing in on me. So y'all, y'all stay at home moms. Y'all are the champions. Champ. We are the, oh. I probably shouldn't be singing a song. I don't own rights to it. Oh, you know, the world we live in. But anyway, so mine, mine goes to daycare so I can go to work. Y'all, I love my daycare. I love my daycare. But the lady's in it in his class for nursery. He's in the one-year-old room. So I've only been to the nursery and the one-year-old room. But y'all, they're so precious. I love them all. And the lady that owns it. She precious too. She's my ex mother in law, but you know what? She's beautiful. Inside and out, so yes, I let my baby go there and no it does not cause no drama, so don't y'all be coming at me talking about some some stuff out your neck sideways. Mm -mm. It's fine. It is fine. It's finer than a frog hair, split full ways. Bet you ain't heard that term. It's only in the style. Hmm, all right, so I think I've powdered enough down below the nose. So now I'm going to do a little bit above it. I know a lot of people like to put their concealer like here and here and here to help with highlight and all that. Sometimes I do that. It depends. Like if I'm going at night and like I want um, certain disco lights or whatever to hit certain things, I'll do that. But for every day, I don't do that every day. Show sure don't. That's a few extra minutes that I can spend with my baby before he goes to school. All right. So now I gotta put that away. Now I'm gonna give y'all a tip. I got this Becca powder, Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder. Okay. And this and a little kit kind of thing. And, um, so I'm not picking my nose, just itches. That powder is so fine like needles. Get up any nose. But anyway, so, when you are in the summertime, and you're starting to tan, and you have light foundation. Sorry, y'all. I'm just setting that powder down so it can have a minute to breathe with my Morphe. Continuous mist. Love this stuff. Um, anyway, so the Becca. So, me and my friend were at Ulta. And we were checking it out, and one of the sales ladies like, try it on your hand. It's supposed to be like it's water, and it just turns into powder kind of thing, or powder turns into water, or some kind of shit like that. But it, it will oxidize your foundation at least a shade and a half to two shades. So that's bad unless you can use it to your advantage, thus the summertime. When you don't have the money to go out and buy all your favorite foundations in two different shades. Because you're tanning and not tanning and all that. Just get this little guy. This little guy. And it like so much is in this little tiny thing. Sorry, I didn't mean to shake the, the camera right there. But it, it's got so much in it. And you don't need a whole lot. And it will oxidize it and change the color. 
just a little tip. Or if you find a different powder that you have that you think is oxidizing your foundation, don't chunk it. Use it to your advantage. Some life gives you lemons. May lemonade. I'm all full of quips today, y'all. On it. On it like that. On it. All right, so I did that spray on my face. Spray on my face. Tap, tap. All right, so this is how my lovely textured skin is looking right now. And yes, I exfoliate. This is just... I ain't spring chicken. I didn't used to take care of my face. I just started about two years ago actually taking care of my skin and learning how to take care of my skin. And I even then in the beginning wasn't taking care of it correctly. So when I got pregnant, I learned a lot about my skin then. A lot. So anyway, everybody's different, but I'm still trying to find different stuff. And don't worry, I'll be doing a video about what I do. There is a video down here about my quick nighttime routine that I do. And um, that, that charcoal stuff from, from Basha, my oh, God, I love it. You put it on your fingers and it's so warm and it cleans it. But anyway, enough of that. We're going to do an eyeshadow look. We're going to use the BH Cosmetics Royal Affair Palette. And, woo, and we're probably going to stay in the this little brown shade. The It's called Express. Express. We've got Rain that we're probably going to you know set the eyelids with. I think I'm going to try to deepen my corners with Regal. Give me a little bit of pink right there with Lady. That's what we're going to try to do. That's, that's my thought. Sure. What are we going to go with first? We're going to go with this little brush from Vasanti. I think it came in a box. Uh, Ipsy bag? I don't know. For sure. But anyway, so we're dipping in to rain that bone colored shade. I'm going to kind of, oh, you can't see. I'm going to kind of go over that, just placing the color over it. All the way up to the brow bone. Doing it again up here. All the way up, well, all the way down now, kind of in the corner. So. Tell me y'all's thoughts about people that are making videos now. Do y'all think that we're just trying to make money? Do y'all think that we actually just want to make videos because we have an attention problem? Do we have daddy issues? Um, tell me what you think. Because I don't want to be a cliche. I don't. I can tell you why I like to do it all day. That don't mean you're going to believe me. So hopefully my videos will show you where I'm going in with Express. And I think that I might tap into Majesty, this brown shade. I really like that. And see what we do here. Yeah. But, um, I mean, I, I you, you see people can make money off of it, but golly, it takes so damn long. I mean, who's patient? It's a generation that we're brought up in. Nobody's patient anymore. I don't know, but I work for a company that I plan to stay with. I really do. It's a family company. Super duper nice. People that know where I work at keep your mouth shut. But, um, <laughs> anyway, so what I do on this, what I do for my normal full full time job. All right, so are we blended? Not really. I'm here talking and not paying attention to what I'm doing. Cause I'm really good at not multitasking though. Well. Okay. Um. But anyway, what else can we talk about? Y'all, I need to do like a live or something, cause. Like, there's nobody to talk to in here. Like, I don't have no music playing. I have to probably do, like, some kind of copyright if I did that. Like, I could sing my K-Love radio. Say, I don't, I don't know. People usually pay for that station. I don't know. Oh, no. Random. Can't help it, y'all. Okay, so now I'm going in with this BH Cosmetics brush. Oh, a while ago, this white one was a wet and wild. Got from the Dollar Tree. It's a dollar. Alright, I'm going in with that shade Rain. Let's 
try to deepen up this little area back here. Ooh, she purple, y'all. I thought she'd be more burgundy, but she purple. I ain't mad at it, though. I just wasn't expecting it. Like, look. That's the color. Right there. So, anyway. So, we're just blending. Blending, blending, blending. Now, when I was learning how to do this whole eye stuff, I, I watched YouTube videos, not gonna lie. Because I did not know what the heck I was doing. Like, when I was younger, y'all, I, I was that, you know, cool kid in the 80s. I had glasses that were like as thick as this is long and um I just I have really bad vision I had braces like in your face braces and then I had um always the tallest and the biggest in the class and I went to a private school and whew, that was rough like, if y'all want a video on that, if y'all want a story time, tell me in the comments because I'm going to have to channel that. Woo. That was a tough time. But, um, anyway. So, I, I, I wanted to, to seem on the outside like I had a boyfriend. So, like, I made my mom go to the Gap because that's when the Gap was popular. And buy me a guy's hoodie. So I could wear it. So I could tell people that I had a boyfriend so they would leave me alone. Like, isn't that bad? Isn't that terrible? You had to do that? Well, yeah. That happened. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with this Prince down here. This little darker. Because I want this purple to be a little bit more brown. Try to see if I can make it a little more. Yeah, there we go. Trying to make it a little more brown. That's what we're doing. Alright. And y'all, don't talk shit. Because I'll be making another video with the same look in just a little bit. Don't try to call me out. I know. I know. But because I have a full-time job, and I have a baby who's with his dad right now, so I have a little bit of time to film. We'll try to kill two birds with one stone. Make two videos. Maybe three if we're lucky. Alright, so I need a big fluffy brush. Big fluffy. I'm going to take this big old one from Morphe. And all I'm trying to do is just soften these edges back here at the top. Just blending them out. Blend them out. I don't want them to be so harsh. I'm going for a subtle yet sultry look today. No, we're not doing falsies or none of that. To be 100% honest, I am not 100% comfortable with false lashes. They intimidate me. I did do it successfully for the first time yesterday. Ta-da-da! Yep, I even sent a picture to a friend of mine who's been trying to teach me how to do lashes, who... She does videos, too, on Facebook. It is Hannah's Makeup. Or on Instagram, it's Hannah's Makeup 717, I believe. Um, if you, I, I will have her linked at the bottom down there. She's cool as shit. Love her that I got to quit cussing on this thing. Or, I don't even make money off of it, but if I did, it would be demonstrated. <laughs> I'm going to get my eyeliner out. Okay. I told you, it's an awkward channel. And I know a lot of y'all see, like, I post a lot of stuff about recipes and cooking and, like, I tried that HelloFresh and all that. Y'all, I like food. I'm sorry. I like, oh, I like a little alcohol. I'm out of. Um, I like coffee. I like espressos and lattes and I like water. Weird. I know. I don't really like juices. But, um. So, yeah, that was the whole purpose of the makeup and shine. I like moonshine, but it's expensive. I don't get a whole lot of that. Mm -mm. Um, but I also like highlighter, even though I'm terrified 
of highlighter. Isn't that weird that somebody can be terrified of highlighter? I know I talk with my brushes, y'all. Just I'll get better. I promise. I make this promise to you. I'm taking this brush and I'm putting on that color lady, that pink color. And I'm gonna put it right here. And I don't think it's gonna show up like I want it to. Who? But that's okay, cause we're gonna we're gonna do something in a minute that's gonna make it all okay. Make it all okay. I just love that color, lady. I just want it to be more pigmented. You can take and spray your brush if you want to. But me, I just wanted something down that was pink that would lay over top of this elf molten liquid eyeshadow in the color rose gold. Just wait. Just wait a minute. Like I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this just so you can't see because I need you to see the effect. And I'll show you another how to do it. Okay, ready? Ready? Wait. Just wait. I'm coming. Don't click off just yet. I got, I got to find my little blandy brush. It's coming. Let me show you. Don't have, don't lose faith in me just yet. Wait a minute. Look at that. Look at it. Mm. So pretty. I love it. Okay. So all I do. A little excess off of it. And I'm random. I know. Kind of go about a third of the way up. Okay, and then we take our little blendy brush, okay, we're going to blend at the top, we're going to blend on the sides to bring it a little bit closer to the middle, but pretty much just blend it, blend it, oh I love it, that is my jam, right there, guess where I got this? A dollar store. For a dollar. Mm. A little bit of dollar deal. Love it. Okay. So now we just need to do some curl. Wait. Hey, curl. Curl, curl. I'm not doing eyeliner on the top today because we're just we're going to the. the, the Restaurant to go eat. Meet my best friend and her fiance. To go eat some sushi. Sushi, 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 sushi. I love sushi. Okay. Let's see. We're gonna try this new mascara. It's called, it's from Essence. It was three or four dollars from CVS. Um, volume Stylist Curl and Hold Mascara. Okay. So, let's check her out. I don't know how she's going to do. Because the, the, this one that I have, this one that I have from them, it's really good once it dries, but it flakes before it dries. So, just be prepared for that. Anyway, so let, let's check this one out and see what we can, what we can do here. And I do a light coating of mascara. Because I had eye surgery a couple weeks ago. And I'm not supposed to be scrubbing or digging or anything as far as to get makeup off. Yeah. I should do better at listening probably. Oh, did I? Really? Right there? So it's a little bit clumpy, like it wants to clump. Oh, it wants to clump up a little bit. She just got to work with it, but that seems to be the only bad problem. 
Yeah, these my bottom lashes like have a mind of their own. They don't know where they want to be or where they want to go. Now, as you can tell, I haven't dipped into the the, the tube anymore, right? So this is one touch. What's happening here? I'm sorry I can't talk while I do this. Alright. Oh, what are you? Okay. Oh, looks like I may have to go back in right here. Ah! Terrible makeup artist. Terrible. All right. That would be one. So I still haven't dunked back in, or did I? Did I dunk one more time? I don't think I did. But now, because most of the product is all. I'm just kind of going back through and combing things. Kind of helping lift. Oh. What just happened there? Hold that thought. It was like something fell and put like a fuzz over my face. I mean over my eye. Super weird. Mascara on my fingers. Maybe this channel should just be, you know, how Jess learns how to do this. Get off. Oh, get dog. So, uh, I'm okay with this. Like, it, it kind of did the same thing as little brother over there wanted to do. Like, kind of flake off a little bit and clump it a little, little tiny bit. But, I prefer this one over the other. Let me try to get some height back on them without ripping my lashes off. Okay. So there. There's the lashes. You can still see my dark circles though, so I don't know how I feel. Usually it does pretty good, so I don't understand why today it's not, but it could just be the light, you know, like, you know, supposed to, like, mimic the daytime. Uh-oh, something just came across my phone saying it was getting too full. Looks like we're going to have to finish this up soon, guys. Okay, so real quick, let's throw on some, um, actually, I'm going to go off camera and do my, my, my bronzer and my blush and my lips, and I'll be right back. Hey, guys, I'm back. So I have done the rest of my face makeup and my lips and I've kind of done the under parts of my eyes and put a little bit of sparkle in the center. But that is pretty much it. Hi. So what I, I did was I went back with those same colors from here and kind of blended and put here. I took um, some highlight from the BH Cosmetics um, backlight kit and I put the, the pink here in the center and then I used the the white one and the pink one to kind of like highlight the rest of my face and then for my lips I did the Ofra long lasting liquid lip in the color Verona and then topped it with a little pure in the color Bitten that's pretty much it what is that nothing I don't know if my lights are throwing off the color but and the camera, it looks, and the camera looks different than what it looks like on in my face, like on my mirror. But like the lipstick is coming across grayish on the camera, but it is a beautiful, just chocolate brown. But anyway, um, for my contour and my contour, my bronze and my blush, I just did the um, Catrice California Anna Box. Um, bronzer I mean yeah bronzer and blush and that's all I did there 
But thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Uh, let me stuff in the comments. Um, I'm glad to do any kind of reviews and anything that you want. Um, but like I said, this is kind of a chit chatty get ready with me and kind of a first day in the three day wear test for the Laura Geller Quenching Tint. So, anyway. So when y'all finally do watch this video, it'll probably be kind of long if I've got to put it all together. I may do, this is a get ready with me and a day one for that. And then I'll do day two and three in like a follow up video. So you're not like hanging out for 45 minutes with me. Unless you really want to. You can always hang out with me 45 minutes. I'm cool with that. But I don't know how long y'all kind of like these videos to be. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please hit the subscribe button and come hang out with me some more. Um, I'm new. I'm trying to grow. Um, and I need new friends. And I have mental health issues because I feel down on myself sometimes. But I like makeup. So I guess that kind of makes me weird. But I feel pretty. Pretty. I gotta do something with his head though. Something got to happen with the head, though. Anyway, y'all have a good day. Thanks for hanging out. Bye. Hey, guys. So, we're working on day two of the wear test for the Laura Geller um, Quench and Tint Foundation. This is eight hours in. Y'all, all I have on today is foundation and setting powder and primer for this thing. I don't have nothing else happening, so y'all have to forgive everything else, but this is just a wear test on the foundation, so. Yep. It's, my texture's coming through a little bit, but y'all, I have so many other foundations that melt off by now. I don't feel like it's melting. I don't feel like it's extenuating anything. It's worn off off of here, but. I'm not terribly mad at it. Now here, I have like done that to my forehead a few times today because let's just be honest, it's Monday. But I'm not mad at it. This is eight hours. Check out my next check-in. Hey loves. So we are at the 12 hour mark for the Laura Geller Quench and Tint. She gone. She pretty much gone. Like, there's a little bit of spots here, and I think that's mostly concealer, but, like, she's going off the chin, she's off the nose, she's off right here, she's, all my little oily places, she's gone. Nimmer. I noticed that she was gone probably about nine and a half hours. My eight hour mark, I wasn't mad at it. Like, you could tell that it had, um, it was kind of rubbing off a little bit, but, um, I still wasn't mad at the finish, but at about nine and a half hours, it was like, poof, go. So anyway, I'll let you know how um, tomorrow goes for day three. And um, I'm going to do my workout now. So, peace out. Hey, everybody. So, um, this is uh, five hours in, uh, no primer, of the Laura Geller Quenching Tint. And I'm in the sunlight, so I'm in that all that harsh lighting. I'm trying to make sure there's nobody behind me. I'm sitting in the bank. But yeah, this is, we are shiny girls. Shiny. Woo! There's just no way around that. I'm going to try to blot and see if I make it any better. But again, we're at five hours on day three of the Laura Geller Quenching Tint um, Shade Light Foundation. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. And I'll check in with y'all a little bit for a, maybe an eight to ten hour test. I mean, eight to ten hour thing. So yesterday, it wore off about nine and a half. So I might try to do about nine and a half, ten hours. But anyway, so I'm going to lunch. Y'all have a good day. Bye. Okay. All right, guys. So, um, again, I'm in sunlight. Oh, it's kind of bright. I have now blot. I'm not as shiny as I was, but I'm still, I still feel mighty shiny. Um, what you guys think? It's not my favorite at all, but like if you're looking for a light coverage, you can build it to maybe about medium, but it kind of wears off. If you don't need, this is not a long lasting thing that I have noticed. Um, my first day, of course, was the best day. 
second day was second best day and then today is my worst day but that could be because i didn't put any primer on too but um both i've used the ex i mean all three i used the exact same um setting powder so it could have that as a uniformity um and i did the exact same skincare to all three so that has the same uniformity so the only thing that's different is the primer or lack thereof and um that that's just about it and when i use the same setting spray on uh, for all three days so, um, I would, like I said, I'm going to check in at about nine and a half hours today. Um, so we can check that, but this is after the blot. I know I, I just showed y'all what it looks like shiny. So this is it after the blot. Okay. Bye. Good morning, everybody. Woo. Sorry, it's kind of bright. So this is day four. It was supposed to be day three. Um, but this is, this is the nine, no, excuse me, this is the 10 hour, um, check in. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get to do day three's 10 hour check-in. Last night was absolutely terrible, uh, mental health wise. But um, anyway, so this is Laura Geller. Oh, wait a minute, hold that thought. All right, so this is the Laura Geller Quenching Tent. This is the 10 hour check-in with a no primer situation. And now it's just, it's gone. Like it's, that's my skin right there. It's my skin. Yeah. Um, so I like it for short wear. Oh, there's still some on my forehead, but it is like melting off. It's like on my finger. But anyway, um, so it's just like melting off, especially without primer. That is, that is bronzer. Um, anyway, so that, look, you know, watch the Grinch with us? Cause you know, it's July and it's 101 degrees and my kid who's happily sitting right down there is watching it. But anyway, so 10 hour check in. Um, with Laura Geller Quenching Tint Foundation with no primer, not a fan. I like the foundation for like a quick going to the grocery store or a going to brunch with your girlfriends. Oh, this head. Mm. But anyway, other than that, it's not my favorite. I will not be reaching for it a whole lot. But that's it. All right, y'all. If y'all kind of like this video, um, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave me comments on what you want to see. I'll be glad to do anything that y'all want me to, within reason within reason but anyway um thanks for watching guys and hang out with me and i'll catch you on my next video Bye.